From Software is a mainstay in the gaming community. The games they have made in the last 15 years have garnered a huge fan base and a community that loves every ounce of it, but I'm not here to sing my praises for FromSoft. My goal is to take a look at every boss from the Soul series, Bloodborne, Sekiro, and Elden Ring, and give it a rating. Rating things like presentation, lore significance, music, and gameplay. Let's hop into the next boss on our tier list, The Flameworker. The Flame Lurker from Demon Souls is widely considered one of the most memorable and challenging bosses in the game. The Flame Lurker has a legendary reputation for being difficult, particularly in the original PS3 release. It's one of the bosses that players tend to remember vividly due to its fast, aggressive nature and punishing attacks. The boss was widely discussed during the game's release with many considering it a roadblock and progression. The Flame Lurker resides in the second level of Stonefang Tunnel. In contrast to many bosses we've talked about previously, it is a very easy boss room to get to. There's a good reason for this too, because the developers knew how difficult this fight was going to be for their players. Flame Lurker is known for his relentless assault and agility, something that sets him apart from their earlier, more methodical bosses. His attacks are infused with fire, and they do both physical and fire damage. The Flame Lurker has a penchant for lunging at the player, pounding the ground with explosive force, and unleashing flame-based AoE attacks. The fight also takes place in a large, fiery cavern filled with molten lava pools, adding environmental environmental hazards to the battle. Fire resistance is the key here. Players are advised to equip flame resistant armor, like the brushwood armor or rings such as the flame resistant ring to mitigate damage. Flame Lurker is also notably weak to magic, making sorcery a viable strategy. Players often use spells here like Soul Arrow and Soul Ray to chip away at his health from a distance. For melee focused players, dodging his attacks is crucial due to his speed. His aggressive nature makes this an endurance battle, requiring precise dodging and careful counter attacks. I personally think that a faster weapon ends up being very good here. There are moments where you make contact with Flame Lurker and he staggers until you finish your combo chain. This boss can also feel a bit frustrating for melee players when he attacks and instantly hops backwards. But to me, this was a way to give players some room to heal and prepare for the next attack. In the Demon Souls remake, the Flame Lurker was given a more intense visual design and enhanced with fire effects, further enhancing the fight's atmosphere and making it one of the most visually striking battles in the game. Flame Lurker's lore is somewhat ambiguous, but it's generally believed that he is a demon empowered by the souls of fallen blacksmiths and warriors. His presence in the fiery Stonefang Tunnel suggests a connection to the heat and energy used by the miners and blacksmiths in the area. It's possible he serves as a kind of guardian or manifest station of the power contained within the mines. Some fans speculate that he might have been a blacksmith who was consumed by his own creation, or the fiery environment transformed into a raging demon. His appearance with the burning hands and fiery attacks symbolizes the destructive power of fire and heat. Also, defeating him grants the searing demon soul, which unlocks the ability to craft special weapons through blacksmith head. For the original game music, I was surprised to hear how slow and ominous the tune was when the boss was supposed to be one of the fastest attacking and overwhelming bosses in the game. It gives off this rhythm that miners would stay in when working. Let's listen to both songs back to back. So now for the rating. The Flame Lurker is a notoriously challenging boss, remembered for its aggressive, relentless attack patterns and fire-infused abilities. This demon is feared for its speed and punishing damage, making fire resistance and precise dodging key to survival. The community widely regards Flame Lurker as a major difficulty spike, and in both the original game and the remake, it stands out as one of the most intense encounters. Its lore is a bit lacking, but there's something about the environment and presentation that helps me enjoy the mystery of this demon. 
Known for its weakness to magic and having to utilize flame-resistant gear, Flame Lurker's design emphasizes adaptability, reflexes, and strategy to challenge players and give them an epic sense of triumph upon victory. I give Flame Lurker an A. What do you guys think? Did I give Flame Lurker a fair rating? Make sure to share the video with other Demon Souls fans and like and subscribe for more. Come and join the Discord channel for updates, and I'll see you in the next video where we talk about the Dragon God.